I'm Rainer Schimpf and I was leading the adventure tour when the incident with the great white shark occurred. The coast of Mossel Bay and we're heading towards a small island which inhabits about 5,000 Cape Fur seals. We drove around the island and stopped to take pictures and suddenly a white shark appeared next to the boat. This particular great white shark was a female shark. She was about four and a half meters long. Everybody was very excited and everybody actually had a good look at the shark and took pictures. I was standing at the front of the boat on the console with the steering wheel in my hand. The engines were shut. On the second turn, the shark basically swam around the boat and suddenly decided to turn sideways and bite into the back port side of the pontoons of the boat, which deflated them immediately. This didn't cause really panic on the boat, but everybody was very surprised about this behavior. My boat is a semi-rigid rubber duck, which is a typical dive boat for South Africa. Um, it's about 8 meters long, it has two even root outboard engines and is registered for 40 nautical miles offshore, which is what we need to do to conduct the sardine run. The sardine run itself occurs between February to about May in the area between Mossel Bay to Port Elizabeth. There has been reports of great white trucks being tagged by scientists and they covered the distance from South Africa all the way to Australia and back in 99 days. Uh, within the vicinity of Mossel Bay, Port Elizabeth and along the Garden Route, you find up to 400 sharks per bay. Despite that fact, not many accidents actually happen. It's more likely to be hit by a car or killed by a toaster than by a white shark. I personally believe the main reason why the shark actually attacked the boat was that uh, we had parked the boat on a mooring inside the harbour next to a fish factory in Mossel Bay. And some of the fish effluent from the factory may have basically touched the boat during the night at low tide. Hence the shark may have mistaken the boat for a dead whale. And this is the only logical explanation because if you compare it to footage of a white shark eating on a dead whale carcass. It is a similar behavior. It comes next to the carcass, opens its jaws, and then basically carefully bites itself through the blubber into the whale. And this is exactly what this great white shark did to our boat. This theory is also confirmed by the fact that um, after the shark realized its mistake, that uh, once the air basically deflated from the pontoons and the shark had no meat between its teeth, it basically disappeared into the blue.